Dwyer covering all the things turning pages and heads in the comic book industry. We're going to pass the show over to our anchors so they can tell you what's going on and keep you in the know. Hey everybody, we're going to have a special tonight. So basically what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about the past, the present, and the future. Because you got to know about the past so we can get to the present and talk about all the great stuff that's going to be happening. And we're gonna go, I'm going to gaze into my crystal ball and I'm going to give you my best guess for what's going to happen over the next year. We are now public, so feel free to share it with the world. Here we go. Let's talk about it. So how does this all begin? How do we get to, to six years of advocating? That's what's happened here. Six years of advocating. It all starts at comic book school at a panel years ago, over a decade now, where this man, Buddy Scalera, inspires me with a panel called Creator Connection. That Creator Connection becomes a Facebook group, and it's a private Facebook group meant to keep just the creators who met there together. It wasn't a gigantic success, but a few people stayed together for a little while. And then I decided, well, there isn't a website that really talks about the independent creators. There needs to be a website that talks about independent creators. So I decide in 2015 to launch what is writtensinsproductions.com. Right away, writtensinsproductions.com comes under a lot of curious questions because I call it productions. I used written sins because at the time there wasn't a written sins.com available. Written sins.com was taken. So I had to go at written sins productions and written sins was really just about me thinking that every story was about a written sin. I thought I was clever. The problem with being clever is that people don't always understand how clever you are. The first year it does not work. Written sins productions isn't what I want it to be. And you guys can see right here. We'll open it up. See, Written Sins Productions, Stop the Reboot Culture, Instead Create New Worlds, which is something I still believe in to this date, but we've kind of expanded. But before we get there, let's talk about the process. So we become creators of Written Sins in 2016. And in 2016, we, it kind of takes, but people, again, have some problem with confusing us. So after two years... From going to Creators of Written Sins to simply become WrittenSins.com when that opens up for us, we have to switch and we go over to Indie Advocates. Indie Advocates lasts for about a year and a half. And due to the, the, the way that certain creators were treating themselves and the fact that the indie was being hijacked as this way to make money, and the fact that we were isolating so much of the, the comic book industry, I decided to do another name change. The name change becomes comicbookadvocates.com. Comicbookadvocates.com is uh, where we are right now, honestly. But it's also the beginning of the indie revolution. That's I-N-D-E-E. -E. Let us indie. And, of course, we are still the Indie Comics Con that is always open 24 seven. It's where the love and passion of comics comes first. So that's basically how we start in the first couple of minutes. I'll give you some other factoids right now so you know. So we officially go live on 6-19-15. Uh, our first post for our second website, which becomes Creators of Written Sins, which is still the URL that we use to this date, uh, takes off on May 19th, 2016. We have published to date over 13,000 articles. We now have just about 40, 47,000 subscribers. We're hoping to make it to 50K this year. Our first video went up on YouTube. And you guys can see, watch with me here. Our first video went up on YouTube. That went up on July 4th, believe it or not, 2016. And that was when we were at Megacon. And you guys can see a whole bunch of different things, different interviews, including Neil Adams early on. Uh, we were at Supercon for that. We went live for the first time on YouTube on March. Where was it? March. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I can reverse it. Uh, March. Hold on. Uh, there we go. March 19th. And there were some, some tests here and stuff that we were doing. But. As you can see, early on we implemented videos. So, and in and Facebook Live, we we uh, started to go live 
it had to have been some th time in 2016, if I remember correctly. So our YouTube channel, we've had, I mean, this is a longer video to have. We've had some problems with copyright stuff. But as of today, we have gotten 27,643 views. And our watch time, we, I, we did the math, has gotten uh, 869.4 hours, which translates into 36 days and five hours. Uh, we currently have 200 subscribers. Again, there's a longer story at when we used to have a lot more subscribers and what happened to that. But that's a tale for another day. And we deliver for you not only things for the Comics Newswire, but we go TikTok and comic book school. Uh, comics Newswire become In to Know, which is going to continue on. Backer Pause, uh, which is now a website itself. Backerpause.com. Panels we did. The Creative Corner, which is uh, known as the Continuum's Creative Corner, but we're going to start calling it the cre uh, Creative Corner or Continuum Creative. We're, we'll get back to you as soon as we figure that out. Freaky Friday, which is for the summer, been a, a weekly show, and it's been a highlight of things. And we have some popular videos down here. We do a lot on this. And here's, here's where we're going to step into the future now. That's the past in a nutshell in six minutes. Here's the reality. After everything that went down with 2020, no one wants to be sitting here and watching these fishbowl shows. What do I mean by the fishbowl show? I've done them. It's where one or two people are hosting and then six people are just sitting in the fishbowl, being bored, wondering what's going to go on. We've all seen it. We've all been part of it. People don't want that anymore. You guys have spoken. I've done, I've done the research and I've seen it. You guys want shorter videos. You want things in a, a bite-sized ability. That's why I really am suggesting TikTok for the future of independent creators. And by the way, July has been dubbed the Independent Creator Month. I-C-M, Independent Creator Month. It just goes with July 4th, so go with it. Help me make it a thing. So this month celebrate independent creators and be positive put positive light out there we need more positivity we need the power of positivity so we're going to be using tiktok to do some stuff we're also going to be changing up how we do the news we're going to be using twitter from now on to help our newsroom this has been a long time coming i've i've been planning to do this we usually do our big upgrades in september but because of everything that happened last year, because of the change in the market and the atmosphere, I wanted to make the changes sooner. I wanted to get them out for the summer and carry into the fall. So this will not will be the, the, the usual fall update. It's happening right now. We'll probably do a couple tweaks in the fall. And you can hear Jax running around the background. As summer is here and he's excited. So what, what the plan is for a lot of these shows is going to wind up being that we are going to Get them to you shorter. There's going to be a shorter distance, and it's going to be easier for you guys to navigate. You guys will be able to interact with it. We're going to show you the newsroom in a second. But again, people want shorter, more consumable, easier to get videos. Hello, Michael. How are you doing? Mike James is with us. Uh, people don't want to be bored anymore. They they got stuck at home. They watch the talking heads. No one wants talking heads. They want the information. We're, we're getting back to a new normal. Let's get them content. Anyone listening to me, pivot your shows to a shorter show and give them more for their time. Make their time a value point and treat it as that and treat it as something valuable they're giving to you. That's my suggestion. It's part of the future. That's why we're doing a lot of what we're going to do. So here we go. I'm going to be doing a lot of TikToking. And TikToking is going to go beyond just me. As comicbookadvocates.com actually is going to be using this avenue of a brand new way for us to do it. Here you go. We got five followers already. We are getting we are getting people to subscribe. We're having some fun here. We're gonna be doing okay, so the the we're gonna be doing a couple things and I'm a little late today, but I'll get it up today. We're going to get the my picks, my top three crowd funders of the week. We're also gonna be doing the forecast on this show and we're going to be doing some other stuff i'm sure but we also want you guys to interact with us so here's what i want you to do when you see these videos and you're on tiktok stitch them be part of it let's build this channel together and of course you can find me at mranderson.com and you can join the 175 amazing people who are following me and become part of this sinners club on tiktok 
So we're going to be doing some stuff with that. But more importantly, here's the newsroom. Now, we've been moving towards doing this, making because we have the URL, comicsnewswire.com takes you right to our newsroom. That's on purpose because everything comes off the Comics Newswire. On the top, you're going to have all the tweets from our Comics Newswire actual Twitter page. So that's everything comic related. Unsorted, unfiltered, that's it right there. So you guys are going to be able to scroll a whole bunch of stuff that I've shared, right? It doesn't go all the way. And if you want more, you can always load more tweets. Now, if you're on your phone, by the way, try, uh, switch it. Take your phone from this way to that way. Make it so you can actually read it. So you can constantly load more stuff. So we're bringing you things easier. Now, if you just want to know about the things, the stories that keep you in the know uh, over comic history, facts, and turning heads in the comics industry. In other words, information, it's a creator. It's heavy on educational and information about the past of comics, not necessarily marketing stuff, but also things happening within the indie sphere. Uh, creators launching something, creators call to actions, uh, programming notes, that kind of stuff, as you can see. There's Heroics Comics, and you got like things like this, the Marvel's 10 Strongest Characters. Because I do think as a creator, you should know that kind of stuff. Plus, you're going to see releases for Kickstarters in there and D uh, DC's Green Arrow Tribute to Denny O'Neill, which we sadly lost last year. So you guys get the idea, and including uh, when uh, an actual creator passes, we're going to put it in there. And celebrating Captain America's 80 years. So it's informational, and it's stuff that you can use and put into your daily okay. life. The Comics Market Watch, this is going to deal with a lot more of the Hollywood stuff as well. As you guys can see, I've integrated some of my TikToks in there. That's on, that's on purpose. We're going to be sharing those, and it's also going to have some of the other stuff that has to do with comics and the, the probably what most people would call the uh, the mainstream of comics. You're going to see a lot more of that as opposed to up there where that's going to be a little more indie. What we want to do here with the in to know is to keep people knowing about indie and the history and trying to build creators up. We have something to cover the mainstream, so don't worry. Both Hollywood movies and stuff, all that will go in here. And then even Backer Paws has got its own Twitter feed. So if you're live on Kickstarter now or an Indiegogo, you can go to Backer Paws and tag us in something so we can interact with you. This also gives you guys avenues to share stuff with us if you're on Twitter that you want to, including your Comic-Con forecast. Tell us where you're going to go, and it could wind up on the show. Let us reach out to you. Then we're also going to have here In to Know. In to Know is our show where we talk about all the things that you should, we think you should know about. So now this is going to give us a way to show it to you, and you guys can see right here, the load. So a couple things that are great about the future of this. This helps our site not have to load, have load problems. It's not heavy load bearing, and you guys can come here, and then you'll see our affiliate section, and then we'll be adding in every week the different videos, and every week we'll put one out where we keep all of our videos. The one thing that we won't hold is all this. So at the end of the week when I go over this, this will be the top stories. We will be having a monthly thread that keeps track of what I think the, be the, the the biggest stories of the month were. So it's almost like a time capsule for everything. And then down here we have our in previews, which I'm actually behind in updating, but I'll get that uh, there for you. Send us your information to Comics Newswire or tag us in Twitter. And then down here you're going to see whoever becomes an anchor. Um, over the past, we've invited people to be affiliates with us. We've tried to work with people. Some have been successful. Some haven't. When I started this, I saw a lot of people doing indie comic shows. And in that time period, now six years, I've seen people come and go. Not putting any hate out there. It's just a revolving door a lot of times. Having been someone who's now helped thousands upon thousands of people, seen all the things I've seen over the last couple of years. I can tell you that it's uh, when it comes to indie comics, it's revolving. I've seen people start ahead of me, leave for a while, come back, and now I'm a little ahead of them. I've seen people get ahead of me quickly. So the future of comics is really going to be learning about these algorithms, learning to keep your head in the game, learning to go to TikTok when you need to, learning what actual hashtags aren't working. Look, I'm not always going to get it right. I made calls in the past that were bad, but I've made more good calls than anything. Trust me that TikTok is going to be something big for creators. I will say this right here, right now. Um, I did blow it on the email list, but I called all the, the stuff we were going to see with Kickstarter and all that. And I can tell you right now, people don't want long-winded videos. So these are all the changes we're implementing immediately. 
We're not going to be doing so much weekly stuff. You'll see things coming on our site and coming off of our site or, or going on our site that are about indie creators. We're making this a more usable moment for the users, more friendly, uh, easier. This newsroom is really going to encompass everything. We are going to have separate newsrooms for all the different areas that we have. And thank you to our affiliates, uh, the comic scene, the convention scene, and uh, comics more from New Jersey. We're going to be doing so much in the next couple of months, but this is going to keep things easier. It's one place. Go in one place and see everything that's going on in the comic book industry, everything that we can bring you. This is really, really going to, I think, change uh, our site and our ability to be user-friendly. That's it. We're at 15 minutes, so I'm not going to take much more of your time. If you have questions, reach out. This is the, the, the brand new CN. W, the Comics Newsroom. This is everything coming off the Comics Newswire. Easier for you guys to digest. One, we're going to have our we're gonna have three shows a week. That's going to co continue to be. We'll do one interview show, which is either going to be the Creative Corner or it's going to be um, Creator Talk. The difference will be uh, the format. Creator Talk's more casual, while the other one is more formatted the creator corner or continuum creative corner. We'll, we'll get back to you on the name we pick in the end, but it is brought to you by continuum comics, the interview shows. Then we're going to, and those are going to rotate judging by um, based on who is actually being interviewed. So we want to be flexible. We're going to move over. We're going to on uh, Wednesday nights, we're going to continue to have back or pause at 9 PM. We'll see you at 9 PM for back or pause. Thursdays, if people have asked me to try to move the show back to an earlier time because especially with the weekends starting now, during the summer, a lot of Thursday events happen. The later show, like tonight where we're later, has been problematic. And I know we're over the 15-minute mark, so I just want to say this and I'll let you guys go. So here, here's the deal. I'm going to be aiming for 10 a.m. We're going to go back to our 10 a.m. spot. We'll see how that works, uh, see if it interferes with me doing cons. Because I do have a couple cons where that could interfere with some stuff. I'll, we're going to have to be flexible. But we will continue to have the In to Know headline show in 15 minutes because we want to keep you guys in to know. And now you're in to know about the things I think that are going to happen in the future. Uh, that are A little bit about our past, how much we've actually done. We've just scratched the surface. We're just starting to really feel... Like we're getting, and as always, we're going to always improve to be a better user-friendly and uh, a website that is about the com the love of comics, because that's what comes first. For we're, we we want to end the reboot reboot culture by bringing new creations in, but we also want to give you something that's really easy to use. So com go to comicsnewswire.com today and so and uh, bookmark it. Subscribe to the site. Thank you all for tuning in. Sorry we went over the 15 minutes. There was a lot to get in, but I think I did a good job. And remember, you can play YouTube videos at double the speed. So really, this could only be about an eight-minute video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I will see you on the Comic-Con Highway or right here on the Comics Newswire.